What's up, y'all? It's Jonathan with Niche Gamer doing a follow-up review. If you've seen this bed before, it's because we did an unboxing probably about two, three weeks ago when we got the bed in. Did a, we did like a quick video unboxing or whatever. Cut a couple of videos, put them together, put some music behind it, showing a quick setup of how to get this thing going. So I wanted to make a, a full-on video review to kind of talk about it, kind of show it in action, and kind of give my honest opinions, thoughts, and just experience with the bed so first of all i'll tell you that this is one of the coolest pieces of tech i've done for the site it's not really in my wheelhouse so to speak i'm not super into like the, the furniture vibe like the whole tech enthusiast make everything about your life your every facet of your life better or whatever but this was an interesting project just because i don't really have a bed i need one like a real bed and not just like you know not much like a mattress that is on the floor or something like, like an air mattress or something that's movable something that's a little more sturdy and a little more stable honestly with being married and having multiple kids just something my wife and i never really invested in so when this opportunity arose it was pretty easy to jump on it. So we got the bed in and I have some some thoughts here about, you know, about setting the bed up. First thing I'll tell you is that this thing is exceptionally heavy. I would not recommend having to put this bed on high floors. If you've got somewhere on a ground floor, you can put this bed. It's ideally there because this, the the frame for this thing is is exceptionally heavy. I actually had to pull it upstairs and I had to kind of use a, you know, a, a pulley system to kind of get it up the stairs by myself. Definitely not an easy move, but you know, we wife and I managed to get it upstairs. So Got it all upstairs, got it all set up. Wasn't too, too terrible. The setup process is actually pretty easy. It's a little overwhelming at first because there's a billion little cables and there are obviously hydraulics and moving parts underneath the bed frame. But once you kind of, once you get it laid out, once you get it set up, flipped over, whatever, it's really not that bad. I mean, it took me maybe an hour to actually set the whole thing up from unboxing to actually done done. It took longer to cut the, the unboxing video. It took longer to cut that together than it did to actually set the bed up. So it wasn't too bad. But with that said, this is not this type of format is not something that I regularly do, so I apologize for the, you know, the, the realness, I guess, of this. My house is pretty small, so there's stuff everywhere. It is what it is, right? When you live life, you can't always set everything up to be just this perfect studio space, you know, so, and you get it in gamer boy life, so. All right, so I'm going to take the tripod back and I'm going to kind of show you some of the stuff about the bed itself. I'm going to show you the remote, show you some of the things it can do, and then I'm going to use my Steam Deck to kind of show you, kind of give you a feel of what the immersive gaming features are like having speakers built into the bed. So I think that, I think you guys will like this little trip. All right, so here's the bed. You know, as you can see, I don't really have a, a lot of thick bedding and again my house is small this is literally like we're in the middle of redoing the upstairs so yeah everything's kind of cluttered and it's a mess but basically what we do is come up here we lay stuff out sleep on the bed you know i like to come up here sometimes so i'll go to bed a little bit earlier whatever come up here and lay down bring my steam deck up here and just kind of kick it the bed itself comes with two remotes this remote here which is for your audio feature so this this one here has your volume your your built-in massager the bed has multiple speakers in it and it has it basically will play deep bass tones in order to simulate a, a massage head and while it's not a terribly great massage it's okay for what it is but i worry that with all of the low tones, I worry that it may cause some damage to hearing because of the low bass tones over a lot of times. So that is a little bit of a concern. Over here on the nightstand, we have the other remote here. This remote is for turning the light on. There's a there's actually a light that's underneath the bed. So whenever you want to go to bed or whatever, you have a night light mode. If I turn the overhead light off in here, you can see that there is a light shining underneath the bed. And if you change, if you hit that light button a couple times, this was nice and bright so you can't miss it. You can change the color of the light that's under the bed. So you can see it's green, it's blue, it's pink, it's red, off, and then just a standard white. Pretty cool little feature. Not something that I necessarily expected, but it was a welcome addition. So basically when you, you know, when you go to bed or whatever, there's a sleep mode here. So if you put this in the sleep mode, what it will do is it will raise the bed about maybe 30 degrees. So when you lay down, you've got your head elevated just slightly. It's kind of like sitting up on one of on one of these pillows, right? You know, the back pillows, like the backrest pillows, essentially one of these guys, right? <clears throat> basically eliminates the need to have one of these because you don't need one of these because the bed itself will do it for you. Pretty nice for, you know, for the cost of this bed or whatever. Pretty nice, pretty nice little welcome add-on. You also have 
other options on the bed where you can raise the head and the feet. So if you look and this is raised out, there is an option. There's an option on this bed called zero gravity. And so if you hit the zero gravity mode, it raises the whole bed up high. It raises it way up off the ground. And then what it does is after it raises it way up off the ground, then you also get the mode. It raises the legs up a little bit. You're laying in this like floating crease. And that's pretty cool. Although I don't really recommend that with two people because with two people, that is kind of tight fit for me because this is a queen size bed and I'm, a, I'm not exactly a small guy. It's it's not my favorite setting on this bed. The, the slight leg crease is nice for going to sleep because it helps help stimulate motion and it makes you relax a little bit better. And it's, you know, it's nice to get some of the pressure off your feet by having them slightly elevated when you go to sleep. That's pretty nice. But zero gravity really, it's joy if you're alone. If you're alone and you want to take a nap, uh, it feels really awesome. So big ups to the zero gravity mode for solos, but otherwise, nah not as a couple then we can lower it back down and make it flat again so you can go back to sleep like a caveman as god intended or whatever it is that you want to believe in or whatever i'm not gonna tell you how to live your life but yeah so that, you know it raises up independently you got your head rest up and down you got your leg rest up and down and you know and you also have a lock so that nobody can move it you got your sleep modes and then you have this is your light up here flat mode and then you have you can set little custom memory settings if you want to use them as well all right so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the we're gonna put it back in sleep mode just for the to have the head up and i'm gonna raise the i'm gonna raise the head up here to get my steam deck so i'm gonna go over this way and i'm going to pop my steam deck out here we can get a little bit of time on that all right so now with Steam Deck itself, we're not going to play, you know, I'm not going to spend a ridiculous amount of time playing anything, but I do want you guys hopefully to be able to hear some of the sound coming through the bed. And it sounds like it's turned off, so let me turn the bed back on. Give me one second here. So the bed the bed mode kind of goes into standby after a few minutes. It's taken about 10 minutes so far in this video to kind of get to this point. So everything's kind of, now you can hear, hopefully you can hear a little bit better now that everything is connected here. All right, so we're going to run the messenger. And what you'll be able to hear here is you'll be able to hear the, the music coming through. And so as we play the game, you get, you get vibration coming from underneath and from inside the bed. So, you know, when, when bass hits or whatever, things are hitting you from behind and it rattles your, you know, your whole frame when those things kick in. It really does bring like a whole new level of immersion to your gameplay because you have speakers literally touching you, rolling around on, you know, rolling around behind you. You can feel the sound all the way around you. So as you're running and jumping and, you know, getting super immersed into stuff, it just, it just drags you in that much better. And that's really one of the big, that's like the big selling point for the bed is, you know, they got these speakers built in and they really want you to kind of, you know, kind of love that, love that feel. You know, initially at first it was a little awkward for me at first, but the more I've used it, the more I've come to enjoy it. I don't love it with games. Like it's some games are really cool with it. Some games are, you know, they're a little more bass heavy and they're not, you don't kind of get as much immersion out of them, but it's really, really nice for movies. Usually we'll bring my iPad up here and sometimes watch like TV shows or movies or whatever on my iPad. And it's really nice for that because you've got the extra speakers built in. You've got the extra two satellite speakers for even better sound. And then, you know, adding that on top of the sound that comes out of the iPad too, which is pretty good because I have an iPad Pro. So it sounds pretty good. So yeah, you know, it's a solid setup, works really well. It's fairly seamless, easy to use. And, you know, anybody could use it. So let's go ahead and play a little bit of a game here. Little little uninterrupted gameplay for just a second here. So I haven't played this game at all on Steam Deck. So this is all kind of be brand new. Whatever, whatever. So with this game, it's pretty neat. The the speaker enhancement's pretty neat because every time he swings a sword, you can feel a, like a, a lick, right? So you can feel the sound like lick across your shoulder blades if you're laying in place, and that's pretty neat. So you're, you know, you got the the bass from the music that kind of rumbles under your butt, um, but then you got 
the licks from the sword that kind of roll across your shoulders as you move. So this one's, like I said, this one's a pretty good, like, just kind of an introductory version of how to, how this works, and this is a pretty decent game for that, for that feeling. I apologize, I'm, like, hella rusty at this, I haven't played it in, like, three years or some shit. But yeah, so that's a little bit of gameplay. Again, I can't really, I don't know how well the sound of the game actually comes through the, through the, the mic I'm wearing. So it may be a complete waste. When I go back and watch this, it may not be able to be useful at all. But you know, again, we're just we're just doing this to to kind of get a feel for it. But yeah, it's it's a pretty cool product. Like I said, I I think the bed itself is really really nice for what it is. I I think it's I think it's comfortable to a point. Again, it's a queen size bed, so I'm I'm not a small guy. Like I said, I'm I'm about 280. My wife is 5'6", and she's probably 120 pounds, so she doesn't take up nearly as much of this bed as I do. You know, again, you know, it's just one of those things like, you know, how you and yours feel comfortable. Like, you know, my wife doesn't necessarily want me like right uh, super snugged up next to her, so we like a little more space, so queen size is kind of tight for us. But for the most part, it's 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 a fairly comfortable bed. Like I said, it's a very nice bed to just like if you're if you're single, it's so much easier to recommend this bed. This is you know this is kind of a one take thought dump of the Vibersonic bed. I like it a lot, and there will be a full written review as far as in a company to this. The the written review will have I don't know I don't really want to score it because I think it's kind of silly to score tech. So to speak for the price it's a very well built product it's a little pricey i think this i think this review unit retail was about i want to say it was about 1300 1400 a little pricey for for what it is but compared to the other beds like this on the market that don't have the immersive speaker tech or the cool light underneath any of that stuff i think that for the money it's a pretty good product i think you could definitely do a lot worse Especially if you go with something like a sleep number bed or something that has a fancier brand name that's probably going to be twice as much with less features. So overall, I recommend this product, but again, it is it is better for somebody who is somebody who spends a lot of time doing things in their bedroom. You know, I don't necessarily think that this is a super great investment for somebody who doesn't really spend a lot of time in their bedroom. I think you could probably get a cheaper bed that doesn't have all the, the bells and whistles and it, it would be just as good. But especially if you like to watch TV or play video games in bed, this this thing's pretty great. So I'm going to have a written, like I said, I'll have a written review coming up with this here shortly. Big shout out to the people at Beyond Sleep for sending this to us to check out. And I'm hoping that we'll do, you know, be able to bring you guys more interesting tech reviews, you know, in the future. And again, I apologize for the, you know, the kind of, lackluster visual here i just really didn't know what else to do <laughs> but anyway so yeah that's that's kind of my thought dump on the bed it's as always thanks for watching subscribe if you're not subscribed follow us on twitter and you know, check for more reviews and tech stuff and fun stuff check out nichegamer.com thanks